welcome back everybody so we got the uh candy the uk01 brandy wine so i did a little spray out card it's drying right now and i'm gonna be shooting this big job here it's a three stage overall big job and uh the whole thing all the way around it other than the back bumper i'm spraying the front bumper and the whole car but the roof so big job plus the gas lid and uh, we're gonna go shoot this one and i'm gonna show you the chips that i did and what i'm gonna do so far i sprayed a special test panel with a different base color under it to uh, get it a little bit lighter than that charcoal that they use from uh, house of color so i went with a lighter one and it's our favorite kad from nissan gray because that color is almost just like the house of colors base the dark gray but it's a little bit lighter but it still has that flake so I'm not still sure I'm gonna go with that yet, but I got that color drying over there. So we're gonna let that dry a minute. We'll check that out and we'll shoot this job here. So let's do it. That's the one two with the 3m gun we sealed it and uh check this out look how nice that color looks vivid on the face and then when it flops it's almost black what do you guys think of that color let me know give it a thumbs up leave some comments i'm loving it already so i went with a lighter gray than the actual charcoal for the uh House of Colors variant deck. I look at the chips because I have a deck and I went with the lighter gray in the water base. So when I shoot that car, I'm gonna spray this uh, water base for the ground coat and then I'm gonna do a candy on top of the water. So that way that, that, that uh, base coat is real flat and slick and it'll give me a better uh, area to put down with that candy. So we're gonna have a water base candy with a House of Colors on the top. And that's how I'm going to do it on this one. So what do you guys think? Real rich looking color, that brandy wine over KAD Nissan. So I had an old KAD spray out card and I just went ahead, sanded it down with 600 and then put five coats of the candy of the UK uh, 01. I know I told you last guy, uh, time UK 04, but that's the Oriental Blue. So. This is that brandy wine. And it looks really nice. I love how it's real dark on the side, but it gets red in the uh, face. Let's go ahead and shoot this one.
All right, guys, so that's one coat with the 14 3M gun at 15 PSI. And this is the Ultra 9K if you're new to the channel. And I wanted to thank all of my new subscribers I picked up in the last couple of weeks. I really appreciate it. Leave some comments and uh, just give them thumbs up because that's what we're looking for. Everybody to like it and uh, get something out of these videos. So I wanted to show you guys the uh, chips. So here's the 46V on the right from the other day. And there's the wine, the brandy wine. Look how much darker it is on the flop. But outside, these both pop the same in the sun. This one's got the same vivid look in the sunlight. So I'm really loving the way that thing winds out. But it also has that candy look when the sun hits it. So I'm thinking we're gonna be going with that uh, brandy wine. Let me know what you guys think. I like the darker because at angles it's almost black and then it goes to the almost to a real nice red so leave some comments let's finish this one up and this here is r4r kia two coats of base of the ground coat I'm gonna put one more on it and check it this color ain't too bad for coverage but I want to make sure it's covered so I'm gonna put three coats of the red on it and then put some of that candy on it and uh, we'll be clearing it so hope you guys like this video it's a Kia R4R three stage and this is a big one this was all the way around the whole car and a front bumper so big job all right, it's all flashed. I went ahead and put another third coat and a drop on it. And now we're going to move on to the candy. So I didn't want to go ahead and show you guys another coat. It was the same thing I did on the last one. So we put one more and we dropped it. And now we're going to put the candy on. So let's candy it. So it's very, very transparent candy. It's really nothing to it at all. So we put one coat on of it just to give it a little bit more pop. And now we're gonna clear it. And this one here, we're clearing with the 950. The CC 950 is a slower, thicker clear, and we're gonna flow this one out. So let's go ahead and clear it.
All right, that's one coat. And we're using the DV1 with the C1 on this one at 24 PSI with the CC950 clear. It's a 3-1 to 1. And I'm using the 90 hardener with the US4 reducer. So this is a really nice clear. It lays out nice and it stays open a little longer on these bigger jobs. So let's go ahead and put code two on and see this thing all finished up. So I can't complain about that. Real happy with that one. And uh, hope you guys like this one. Came out clean for a big job. And that's thanks to that 3M gun. Because it's a new head every time and you don't have any problems with the gun. So I recommend that 3M gun and uh, I'll be standing by it until they don't have it no more. So make sure you uh, let me know about the paint colors you guys seen with that chip with the UK 01, the Brandywine and uh let me know on that and i hope you guys like this one and see you next time